a business daily called it the race for prize real estate. This was not about the usual clamour for expensive real estate in cities like Mumbai. But it was about India's latest endeavour to find a footing on the moon. Chandrayaan-3 was one of its kind space tech mission. With Chandrayaan's success, India's space sector will capitalize on its reputation for cost competitive engineering. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, had a budget of just around 6.1 billion rupees or 74 million dollars for the mission. NASA, by comparison, is on track to spend roughly 93 billion dollars on its Artemis Moon program through 2025. Space missions in future will depend on the Chandrayaan success and the knowledge that it generates for missions in deep space as well as those to Mars. The moon will be a base for planetary exploration. Success of Chandrayaan 3 puts India in the race for development of advanced space travel technologies and position it for planetary missions. In recent years, India has privatized space launches and has opened up the sector to foreign investment. The target is to see a five-fold increase in India's share of the global satellite launch market within the next decade. India's space tech ventures are already playing a key role across several application areas including weather forecasting, geological and oceanographic studies, disaster management and agriculture to name a few. However, the success of Chandrayaan-3 propels India's space tech startups into a completely new orbit of funding and orders. Prime amongst them are orders for satellite launches. Satellite broadcasting services have been the mainstay of the media and entertainment industry in India. Satellites have the potential to bridge the digital divide in India. They don't just provide basic connectivity and broadband services like in urban areas. They can provide connectivity for teachers and students to access resources in rural and remote areas. The ubiquity of satellite communication, quick access and cost-effective features make it an attractive proposition in the education sector. Offering digital health solutions in remote areas through satellites is likely to open up nascent opportunities. On the other hand, equipping fishing vehicles with satellite-based communication systems will go a long way in disaster warning and other ocean-related advisories. Further, satellites play a critical role in developing AI, IoT and blockchain-based tech products. ISRO space programs have also spun off several technologies which are used for the benefit of general population. The chief uses of ISRO's homegrown technologies have been in the fields of surgery, artificial limbs, food safety, weather prediction, communication, robotics, geology, heat and fireproofing, adhesives, aviation, defense, etc. From time to time, ISRO offers technology transfers to private industry, public sector, research organizations and academic institutions. For instance, ISRO had offered Amararaja batteries the technology for indigenous production of lithium batteries for electric vehicles. Now here are three factors to keep in mind when looking for space tech stocks in India. The first is regulations. The government has introduced new draft policies for space communication, navigation and remote sensing with a view to usher and enable a regulatory environment making it easier for private players to leverage the technology. With policy reforms to encourage, support and regulate the private sector, the government is actively creating opportunities to engage in space operations and grow the market share globally. On June 26, 2020, the Government of India opened up the space sector to private enterprises. It also formed the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, Inkspace. This helps private players become independent actors instead of being suppliers. The Indian Space Policy 2023 invited the private sector, allowing them to conduct end-to-end -end activities in multiple domains such as SATCOM, satellite launches, remote sensing, etc. 
The, so the key catalyst for the space tech sector was the launch of the Indian Space Association, ISPA, in 2021. Its founding members included LNT, the Tata Group, Map My India, Valchan Nagar Industries, and Bharti Airtel's One Web. So, with companies like LNT deeply involved in Chandrayaan 3, the regulatory guidelines for companies participating in future space tech missions should be benign and help create long term wealth for their shareholders. In June 2023, India signed the Atomus Accords a US-led international participation on planetary exploration and research. This makes India the 27th signatory to the Atomus Accords, which brings like-minded countries together on civil space exploration. Following this, NASA and ISRO agreed to a joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024. Chartering in international waters via such agreement enables India to leverage America's long-standing leadership in space technologies and enhance its own capabilities. Moreover, it creates opportunities to establish partnerships with other Atomist co-signatories such as France, Japan, Australia. Sustainability Currently, there are over 100 space startups in India in both the upstream and downstream segment of the space value chain. New age companies focusing on the upstream segment are engaged in making satellites, rockets, rocket fuel and propulsion systems. Companies in the downstream are focusing on developing analytical skills to generate insights across industries and coming up with innovative applications. Local business conditions and capabilities are acting as the key catalyst for the development of the space tech startups. A thriving small and medium enterprise ecosystem in India is the perfect bedrock for the space tech startups to develop. Companies can take advantage of the already established supply chain of ISRO for manufacturing and testing of satellites and rockets. To add to it, startups are able to greatly benefit from the experienced space scientists in India who have significant mission experience as well as leverage world-class academic institutions. Overall, the focus of the startups in India is on developing original IP for space-based products and services. And finally, the most important criteria, funding and economic viability. Access to capital is the biggest challenge for pure play space tech stocks even today. Historically, investors have treaded with caution when dealing with the Indian space tech startup ecosystem. Lack of private participation in the space economy was clearly a major deterrent. Large scale private investments in the upstream segment have been a challenge owing to higher barriers to entry, strict regulation and high risk of failure. As per an Inc. 42 report, space tech startups in India are currently looking to get funding of $77 billion by 2030. Most space tech startups in India are yet to mature in terms of financial strength. Hence, as an investor, you need to be very patient to ride the boom. In the meanwhile, you could consider investing in some of the key technology associates of the booming space tech startups. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.